Hello there everyone and welcome. Um, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. The sun is shining so I thought I would film a nice look today and this is what I created with some new products that I've recently purchased from Boots and some old favourites that I've just dug out my drawer and just reused. Uh, I just wanted a really nice like late spring, early summer, subtle, um, subtle just drinks look, you know something you just got the girls, brunch, afternoon tea if you're into that type of thing. I am into afternoon tea because I do love a butter. But yes, thank you for checking this video out and I'm just gonna jump right into it so let's uh, jump right into this look. So I have done my eyebrows. Um, one thing I didn't buy was an eyebrow pencil. For some reason I don't generally buy loads of eyebrow pencils. I just find ones that I like and just stick to them. So I've used my Beauty Bay um, brow pencil in the shade back. Um, I used my Makeup Obsession brow gloss and then I used NYX, the brow glue, uh, in medium brown and that just really glues the brows down, it's like really nice and it, it is a little bit sticky so if you get it everywhere it, it just nice can get off with a q-tip um, but yeah it is really really good so I do like that. So I'm going to use the Max Factor Base Finite All Day Flawless Concealer and I'm going to use this to carve out my brows. Now I've got the um, combination of the concealer and the foundation to try um, because I heard that it was quite good for more mature skin. I can't remember where I heard it but I've definitely heard it somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to do that and this is meant to be like a long lasting um, base. But before I do that I'm going to put my primer on. Even though the foundation says primer, concealer and foundation I want to try this Spotlight Primer by Physicians Formula that I picked up at this as well. Um, Plastic again, plastic, plastic. I'm hoping that this is a little bit like the Becca like backlight filter primer that used to be a thing back in the day because I used to love that. Um, so I just thought it'd be like really nice to give you that like a nice summer glow. Come on, bump. There we go. So it is very similar color. Doesn't smell bad. I'm just gonna put a little bit on though because there's meant to be a built-in primer in the foundation. I'm just going to rub that into my fingers. Hmm. So that is kind of... It does look a little bit like the, the Becca one. Very much so. It's not got a heavy consistency. I just want to put this on now before I do anything else just to give it time to like soak into the skin. Yeah, kind of. It feels nice. It's it's not sat on the skin. It's but it's absorbed and it's giving me that lovely. I think it's maybe going a little bit red, um, but it's given a lovely glow. Okay, so yeah, kind of liking that. Um, it, it's not as um, thick of a consistency as the original Becca primer, but it's nice. Um, I will try and list everything down below with prices. Uh, I did get. Most most of this stuff from Boots, if not all of it. So we'll see how we go. So let's carve out our brows. So I did buy quite a light colour with this Max Factor Face Finity. You now I don't really go for Max Factor products too much, but this says it's meant to be up to thirty wear, uh, thirty hour wear, and it's um, vegan as well. It is water based, and I bought the shade zero one zero. Now it's not a very liquidy consistency. But it's also not like super thick because sometimes with um, more mature skin if you do pick up something that's a bit of a thicker consistency it can make you look a little bit cakey and wrinkly but that's the consistency there so kind of liking that i'm just going to carve out these brows so that's that seems nice and smooth when i brush that into the skin So I definitely think that went on quite nice. I'm just going to fluff that in with like a, buff that in even with like a fluffy brush. And so I'm thinking like late spring, early summer glowy look today. Just something dead simple, no lashes, anything. Just something that you just, you know, you're just going out. Okay, so that's quite nice. So for eyes, I picked up the W7 Nudification Wear It and Bear It Pressed Pigment Palette. Now... I just this just spoke to me. It's just a nice warm tone neutral palette. Now I have had a few W7 products in the past and I've 
kind of like them. It, I think it's like a really, a, a really, it's, it's not, it's a brand that's just not talked about enough um, because I don't think I've bought a product for them in the past, say, six months that I've not that I've disliked. But it is a drugstore brand, so um, so I just thought I'd give this a go and see what we can create. I'm just like, say, just a nice, simple look. I'm loving the warm tones. Um, I'm loving this, like, colour right here. Look at that one. I mean, the colour story is really nice. So, let's just get into it. So, I think I'm going to start off in my crease with Undone, which is this... Oh, no, I might go for Stripped, actually. Which is this colour right here, this one. Um, and I'm just going to bob that kind of, like, through the crease. So, I just want a simple, simple look today. There's a lot of kickback on that. Quite a bit. And... What I do is, I'm just going to... Pat that up. I always go a bit higher on my crease because I have hooded eyes. So rather than go into here, I go just slightly higher. And I'm just going to pat that in. That is, that's a really nice colour. I do feel that this palette could be one that could go from like a day to night. You could just do something dead simple for the daytime and then just feed it into the night. Okay, so loving that, and I'm just going to sweep it under the eye as well. It feels really like creamy, really nice. Uh, so, it's getting on in the afternoon. So I thought I'd do a little vodka, but why the hell not? That, I think that's looking really nice, just dead simple. So I think I'm going to go with canvas, which is like the nude colour here. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of the product that again is um, got a lot of kickback and I'm just gonna help it to diffuse it because I don't think it really needs a lot more to be honest that I really really diffuse that out really well so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna deepen up the outer portion just slightly I think I'm gonna go in with masterpiece which is this color right here I'm just gonna take this on this uh, like small fluffy brush and again, just, I'm just going to take Masterpiece and I'm just going to very, very lightly just put that on the outer portion and just see how that goes in. I've got a feeling that it may just blend in with the colour that's already there because this isn't really paying off. Maybe it's the brush. I don't know. Let's take a look. No, that's not paying off. So I'm going to go back in with Undertone, which is this one. Same brush, again a little bit of kit back and I'm just gonna, that's better, that's giving me a little bit more, it's giving me a bit more to live for. Bloody wood pigeon again. If you can hear it let me know in the comments down below. And I'm gonna put that one right, oh well, no I think we can go halfway. Let's go halfway with that. Loving it. And I'm just going to go back in with stripped and just bring that in slightly more again as well. Okay, so a shimmer. There is in a glow here, which I'm thinking to do the inner corner with, um, there's fully exposed. Oh, hers, that one's quite nice there. Hers, uh, that one is <gasps> wink wink, like that. So. Because I want it to be more, like, I'm just going for drinks. I think I'm going to go in with hers. And I'm going to go in with my finger. That's really nice. And I'm just going to, ooh, loving it. I'm just going to pat that on. Doesn't need to be really neat. Now, they are a little bit chunky, so they have gone up into the uh, crease line a bit. Which is, is you know, doesn't matter. You can give that a little brush off with the uh, brush that you used to put the eyeshadow on with. If it is a little bit too much, I mean, it looks fine. It looks absolutely fine. Uh, a little bit of fallout under the eyes here with that pressed pigment as well. And I'm going to go in with um, Inner Glow now. I'm going to take it on a brush though. Because I don't feel like that's just going to end up everywhere. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the inner portion of the eye and like the corner to give it a little bit more brightness like that they're very similar colors even though in the pan one's very white and one's very gold 
on the eye, they are very, very similar. So anyone that's watched my channel knows that I love the Maybelline Sky High and I have the pink one um, and I've purchased the, um, the the black one which is like more like meant to be like more for a nighttime look. So um, I picked up Cosmic Black and I'm just going to curl my lashes, I'm going to open this and we're going to see what it is like, if it is good as the original um, original one because I absolutely love it and I have run out and that's the reason I got this um, because they did have the pink one but then I saw this one and I was like let's just give it a go. It smells okay, applicator, I think it's very similar to the um, original pink sky high but let's just do a couple of coats and see see what it's like. I feel like it's going on really smooth. Okay so that is literally just like one coat. Um, I think it's given me it's given me a bit of lash, it's nice. I'm just gonna go in with a second coat and see. See if we can get them a little bit longer looking. Oh, is the second coat. Okay, I really do feel like um I can zoom you in a little bit. That's really nice. It's just such a nice subtle mascara. Um, I could probably go for a third coat but I don't want it to go glooper but I'm liking that. I, I do really like it. Let's say I don't have a lot of lashes naturally so that is good. That is a good mascara. Let's get the other eye done. Okay so kind of loving that and I didn't pick up a um, eyeliner but I'm going to use my Catrice uh, Creole eyeliner uh, Easy Glide in the shade Chalk Waves just to Put a little bit in my waterline and I'll do my bottom lashes when I've done my concealer and everything. So that is the eyes pretty much done. I mean, if you weren't talking and going on with yourself, you'd probably take you about 10 minutes. You know, it's not it's not an extravagant look, but I just think it's so effective. So I'm going to try this concealer, but I don't think I'm going to like the colour. I don't think that's concealer's fault, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to put it on with a fluffy brush. I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to fluff it in with the brush. So, so I mean, it's, I think it's just going to be a bit yellow. So I'm just putting it on my eyes. I'm not going to put it anywhere else on my face. I don't feel like it, I mean, I feel like it could put quite a lot on there, but it's not like give me any real coverage or anything. The colour doesn't actually look too bad. I just don't want to go too full on with it. Let's do a little bit more because that's done cock all. Um, no, it's just not covering anything, is it really? Dirty yellow wear because you can't see it. Um, let's, let's go in with the Maybelline and I've got this in shade 00. So this is the Maybelline Multi-Use Concealer and this is the uh, Instant A Anti-Age. Love it. I have had this in the past, I've not had it for a long time. I bought a pink one of these and I also bought the Beauty Crop Pink Powder. So that's for another video. I okay, finally got it open with all the security tags and everything. So you twist it, everyone knows that you twist it. So I'm just going to put a little bit there. Well, God, quite a bit of that came out. I'm going to do the forehead. Let's just go everywhere. Let's go everywhere with it. Let's do there as well. And that's just like a little bit came out. I'm just going to take this on this fluffy brush and just fluff that in. Let's take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and just get that detailing done. That concealer's gone so nice on top of the um, primer as well. And I'm also going to tap that with my uh, Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Sponge just to make sure that it is all like flawlessly in there. Okay, foundation. I hope this foundation is nicer than the concealer. Um, so this is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Airbrush Foundation 3-in-1 up to 30 hour wear. So I'm expecting it to be quite heavy. 
Oh, it's, I don't know, it's a bit dark for me. So, God, what's wrong with me picking up these colours? Um, sometimes I feel like in the shop, though, you don't get the right colour because the lighting's just so poor. Well, that's not too bad. That's quite nice. I've only put a little bit on though because say it's 30 hour wear I'm expecting it to be quite thick but it's not Um, I am liking that much better than the concealer I don't like the concealer I like using new products and I like, like trying to combine them with the old products as well and just seeing what works and what doesn't and just all trial and error innit all experimental okay I think I'm gonna go in with a cream um, I do like the finish of that foundation. That's really nice. That's nicer than I thought it was going to be based on the concealer because the concealer is a bit pants. Okay, so I'm going to go in with one of my Beauty Crop Juice Pots Lip and Te Cheek Tint. Lip and Cheek Tint. Lip and Cheek Tint. And this is the shade Melon. Um, so I have used these before, but I've not used this shade. And I just thought this corally shade would be quite nice for summer oh i've got a bit more on one side than the other and i'm just going to bounce that in well that's a bit more pigmented than i thought i must admit i'm not a massive fan of liquid products but i do like these um cheek tints i can never say it either so yeah i'm liking that hmm now it's blended it looks nice. Before it looked like it was just going to be like three red dots on my face. I'm liking that. I think it's looking really, it's just looking really pretty. Um, really just summery and just, just, you know, just drinks. Drinks. Drinks, a bit of dinner, mowing the grass because that's what everyone seems to be doing the minute I sit down to film. Yeah. So I'm not going to go in with um, any more liquid products because I feel like that's enough but I'm gonna set my under eyes with this pink powder this pink beauty crop powder if I can get into it it's super fly away powder right? really fly away so I'm gonna take a little bit on my trick well um, a small puff and I'm just gonna pick some up I'm gonna tap excess off on the back of my hand it's super powder right? really powder right? I don't like how powdery it is so it better be good and I'm just gonna Press that under my eye and up. Okay, so I am going to sweep it off very quickly because I find that at my age, if I bake and I go too much on it, then I do look creased. Um, I'm just going to make sure it's all pressed in first, though, as much as it can be. I'm just going to take a cheap fluffy brush and just brush off that excess. I mean that's nice, that's really brightened, brightened my eyes up. Um, obviously I still have wrinkles, I still have quite a few bloody wrinkles, um, but no that's that's actually quite quite nice. I'm gonna bob my mascara on as well before I finish off the rest of my face, but that's how much powder is like left on the back of my hand, like a load, everywhere, everywhere. I want to set the face now. I'm going to take my I Heart Revolution um, loose powder. I'm going to put a little bit on with my larger Trigwell. Oof. Again, put it on, pat off excess. This is not as flyaway as the Beauty Crop powder. And just pat that in, and I will get rid of any excess with a big fluffy brush. I just find that this like really just just set down um, and if I don't go too mad with it it really does set the face down and I'm not I don't feel like I'm losing that glow from um, the primer primer um, yeah that primer is still like giving me that nice little bit of glow and just get rid of anything that's a bit too much Okay, so I want to use more affordable makeup products in this video, so I'm going to go in with my PS Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunset, and these are £2 if you can still get them at Primark, because they change their products so often, I just can't keep up, and my 
um, I mean, there's Primarchs all over the place, but my Primark is, my big Primark is Manchester and um, they never, ever, never have anything. Maybe I should visit that, like the biggest one in the world that's in um, Birmingham because that's literally just down the road from me. So just bronze up, don't forget the jawline, just to, you know, get rid of them jowls and get that nice and blended as well. I want a really blended look. So I always pat that in and then blend always upwards. So I have got a couple of new blushes. I've got a Wet n Wild Pinch Me Pink and a Milani uh, Tea Rose blush. Um, let's get them open and see what they look like without that glare, shall we? More plastic. So these are on right here. I'm thinking more Tea Rose um, because I've got quite a, a intense pink on underneath um, from the Beauty Crop which is this pink here so I think that would just really like accentuate it and I feel like it's a really nice summer um, I mean I love the rose as well but I just feel like it's a really really nice summer uh, blush just you know super nice and yeah sorry went wild maybe next time so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush Pick up some of that. Oh, there's no kickback on that at all. I hope it's pigmented. Oh, yeah. It's really, like, soft as well. Like, super soft. Loving it. Yeah, that's giving me, like, summer vibes. Like, tea party. Afternoon tea. It's a very nice afternoon tea look. Now we want some highlighter and I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter in So Glazed. Now this is the biggest highlighter ever. How big is that? I'm never ever going to use all this. So, you know, if you want to go overboard with it, go overboard. I mean, it's got a mirror in there as well. The packaging, that's a, a full mirror. But, oh my word. It's just the biggest. I just thought it was a bronzer I was buying as well biggest bloody pan of products I've ever seen. This look is just super simple, super nice. I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. I mean that's just such a lovely subtle glow. And I'm gonna set my face with my my with my I Heart Revolution watermelon setting spray because it smells absolutely fit. Lips, 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 lips. I think I want to take my clip out and then get the lips done. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I did have an attempt at killing my hair with my new GHDs, but it all went wrong. So I tried straightening them, and now this is what we've got. So we're just going to live with it. Yeah, I don't think it looks too bad actually. It just looks very big. Um, so I have got a Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, and this is a new shade for me. This is the shade lead the way and I have also got a Maybelline Colossal um, lip liner in Gone so I'm just going to line my lips oh that's nice I'm hoping this is like a lovely like pinky nude okay so I'm liking that that went on really smooth and creamy and the Lip crayon. Get the sticker off it. Oh, that smells divine as well. Okay, so this is the finished look. My hair looks a little bit wild, but I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of here for it. It's just, yeah, liking it. Um, so I hope you enjoy creating this, like just brunch every day look i'm absolutely loving it i really enjoyed uh, the new products that i used and i enjoyed some of my old favorites as well so if you've got old favorites in your collection just pull them out don't get to use them don't get to rediscover them um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me a like thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you in the next video guys bye